Aldi's is definitely the place to go if you are shopping on a budget. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back with my weekly meal plan and grocery haul. This week I chose to go to Aldi's. I hadn't been there in a while, and I do have quite a few items that are definitely staples of mine that I get nowhere else from Aldi's. But I had such a pleasurable trip this time. It's really been probably about a month since I've gone, and I could not believe what some of the prices were this time. Besides having that Trader Joe's effect of always finding new goodies every time that you go there, I, every single thing, I counted how many items I had, and I had 52 items. I spent $114. I didn't break it down the calculator, but if I do my math a little bit, I mean, that's like $215, $220 an item. I mean, that's insane when you think of what I got, talking ground beef and all, a good 75% of my groceries are organic. So to not be able to compromise, I mean, if you really want to shop on a budget, you can shop at the Dollar Tree. They do have cheeses and meats and everything. I mean, if you really were tight and had to do what you had to do, you could shop there. But what I love about all these is it's allowing me to have a budget and not compromise the integrity of any of the items that I'm buying. The things are just so high quality and I really just, I couldn't believe what I got. So let me turn the camera around and show you all the groceries that I got and then we'll get into the meal plan. And I'm even gonna go over the receipt with you during meal plan time so you guys can pause if you would like to and take a look at what these items truly were per piece, but I cannot get enough. I mean, look at all those groceries, you guys. That is a lot for $115. I continue to just be blown away. So let me show you guys what I got, starting with these three bags here in the back. So if you guys have seen any of my Aldi's hauls, you know that I love this lightly salted popcorn. It is so delicious. It is $1.19 for this huge, gigantic bag. It's 37 calories per cup. It's so good. You open it, and you just don't want to stop. It's very light. It's the perfect snack. So we get those all the time. And that inspired me to get this one. This said it was a promo. Uh, this one's not organic, but it is non-GMO. So I'm fine with that. And it's herbs and spices popcorn and it looks really dusted with like all different flavors so I can't wait to try that that looks really good and then the other thing we got was these organic multi-grain chips now I do usually get the multi-grain chips from BJ's but this was also a dollar and change so I'm gonna check the ounces on the bag I have here and I think this may stack up to be the better deal. And if that is, I'm gonna stop getting it from BJ's and only get them from here. Even my family likes them and you can't beat all the things that are in there. It's like flax and brown rice and sunflower seeds and aramith and quinoa. It's just, they're so delicious and they're so healthy for you. It really is the best chip. So I got a bag of those. They did not have any beef beef broth. I was a little bit disappointed. I got the just two of the organic free range chicken broth. But again, these are the best price there. Hands down, this is a dollar and change. I think it's a dollar 25 or something. So I think that's great for broth. Uh, I did get these pie crusts again, you guys. Like we love the way they're baking up and I am obsessed with these pot pies. Uh, my neighbor, her mom is in from Florida and her favorite thing is pot pies. She mentioned that when I visited with her the other day. So I'm gonna surprise her and make a big thing of those pot pies again. But you guys, I'm obsessed. This is like every other week I'm making them, but they're so they're so stinking good. If you guys did not see my freezer meal video, I'll put a card up top, but I probably will make this at least once a month for the rest of my life because they're that good. I may start venturing out and trying different flavors other than just the chicken, but definitely really good. And these pie crusts are the bomb. This looks really, really good. And I know it's probably just me who will eat this, but that's fine. Um, I love any kind of pico, and this is a mango pico de gallo. So I'm excited about trying this. This with those multi-grain chips is probably going to be the bomb. So I'm excited about that. 
Uh, I got this for Taco Night. This was the most expensive thing I bought. I thought this was a good price too. It was $2.89 and it says that's their everyday low price, which I think that's great. I think that even beats BJ's sale. So kudos to all these. Um, I'm excited to try this because if it's good, I'll stock up there. So I picked that up. All right, you guys, orange juice. In Long Islander, my whole life grew up on Tropicana orange juice. Didn't like anything else. Couldn't get Minute Maid past my lips. Nothing. Tropicana orange juice. As I got older, I started to venture out. I've tried other things. Um, I love the orange juice from Trader Joe's. But this orange juice, I even put it on Snapchat, is the best orange juice I've ever had in my life. This trumps Tropicana. It's so good. This is the extra calcium and vitamin D organic orange juice. So, so, so delicious. Buy it so good uh crazy deal on their organic fruit uh 280 for these organic blueberries uh a dollar 99 for organic raspberries i mean that's insane to me um two dollars and 39 cents for the cage-free organic brown eggs and we love these my husband said he's not a brown egg fan but he really likes these so uh, i will continue to purchase those uh, we love the kids, these cheese crackers. They're very comparable to a cheese it and they're organic. So you kind of can't beat that. Um, I did scoop this organic ketchup up and I'm excited to try this. We do usually get the two pack from BJ's as well, but if this is good, this ends up being like a way better deal. This is a smaller thing, but I think I pay $5.99 for a two pack and this was like a buck. A buck you guys for organic ketchup so so excited uh, I've not gone to Trader Joe's yet this month so maybe I'll find something novelty when I get there I love all of Trader Joe's novelty pastas but this was a cute little novelty Valentine's Day pasta it's got the little red and white hearts but if you guys missed my um target video check that out i got a bunch of clearance meat and i ended up getting these really beautiful petite sirloins that are wrapped in bacon there was just two of them i said it'd be perfect for a date night so i think i'm going to save that and make like a special valentine's day meal so i'll probably make like my own alfredo and do an alfredo over this valentine's day pasta with those side steaks this way the kids can still have some pasta and him and i can and use that as a side dish for those really yummy meat steaks. Uh, I saw these juice boxes and this is a first for me. So these ones are like more like the Capri Sun pouches. Now I've never seen these before. These are organic. This is the fruit punch one. So we're really excited to try those because we got the regular juice boxes, which we always buy. And I put those in the cart first. And then I saw these, so I'm going to try them both and see which one, you know, if the kids prefer those over that. Uh, if you've seen it, all these whole, you know, this is a staple for me as well. Love these Red Bulls, $2.50 for four, so that's a great deal. All right, being from New York, all kinds of Italian cookies and everything are like on every corner there. Um, and Lacey's are my favorite cookie that they serve at any kind of bakery. And when I saw them, I jumped all over this. Like, I think I squealed. Um, so much so that there's no binding on here because I opened it in the car and already stole a cookie out of it. And they are just as good as the squeal that I gave in the store deserved because I probably will go back and try and scoop these. This was by the Valentine's Day stuff. So I think that's a specialty item. I've never seen it before. So I probably will go back and stock up on more of those because they are so good. I'll probably even freeze them. They were that good. I always get their coffee there, but I usually get their organic light roast. It's the first time I ever saw their donut shop and or donut store which i guess is comparable to the donut shop which happens to be one of my favorite of the regular keurig brand um k-cups so i got this one to try instead uh 
I've not really ever seen this pineapple salsa. I've not really ever really seen the organic salsas at mine. The one I go to all the time never has it. The one that I go to occasionally, I've seen have some, but they only have the Chipotle lime, which I have, and we've been eating on that, and we like it, but I'm such a sucker for like fruit in salsa like that, which is why that mango pico sounds really good to me. So I scooped that up, that looks really good. Uh, I was out of cumin, so I picked this up. You guys, organic cumin for $1.99. Like, I don't even think you could really get really any decent herb that isn't organic for $1.99. So I, I don't even think I'll get my spices anywhere else. I usually get them at Walmart. Their organic line is decent, but that is insane. Picked these up for a Super Bowl. Never saw these. They're spicy. Spicy breaded pickle chips with a ranch dipping sauce. So I'm all about that. Can't wait to try that. This was by these Lacy Cookies, and I've never seen these either. But hello, you guys. Oh my goodness. Almond cream cookies. Come on, baby. Focus and show them this deliciousness. There we go. It's an almond cake biscuit with a creamy vanilla flavored center. Look at that. Oh, my goodness yes please so i'm excited to try those i'm anything with any kind of nut so that sounds really good their halos are the best de deal there this bag in walmart is five and change this was 3.89 there so i usually get them from there organic mushrooms a dollar 29 amazing deal uh got the little bag of mini peppers i use this for cooking uh, they had organic classic hummus, which was $2.50, and then a half price sticker, so $1.25 for that. Got these cute little terrific trio little potato company. I've been loving the purple potatoes, so it has gold, purple, and red potatoes in there, so I'll roast those up. That sounds really good. The kids each pick something out for Daddy to give him for valentine's day so mason picked out these they are strawberry shortbread cookies so they are shortbread cookies with a strawberry fruit filling oh and there's a chocolate base on the bottom hello i did not see that oh yeah he's going to love that and then maya picked out these which i thought was so cute coming from her so it's chocolate truffle hearts and it has a coffee one, a raspberry mascarpone, a strawberry rhubarb, a bourbon vanilla, a chocolate mousse, and a tiramisu. So, oh my goodness, those sound amazing. So those are for the hubs. Uh, our tomato basil sauce, we love that. We keep this in the refrigerator at all times. So if we're going to do pizza on naan or English muffin pizzas or a quick pasta dish for the kids quickly, even Jake for lunch, we can use this as a fallback. So it really is delicious. So we got, got that. I needed vegetable oil, so I picked that up. And I needed flour, so I grabbed that. This really excited me. This was like a dollar and change too, and it's organic ranch dressing. Um, I really liked the one that Walmart was carrying for a really long time, and then now they're not carrying that anymore. The new one that we got was good, but I figured we would give this a try, and again, it's a great price. So I picked up this little cake. I love their little tiny cakes. This is a chocolate, triple chocolate cream cake, but they're super cheap. They're like two bucks. And I love that it's tiny because we never finish a whole cake, but this is going to be perfect for dessert for Super Bowl. I'm lazy. I don't feel like doing anything else. So this is going to be perfect for just us since we're not really doing like a party or anything. Um, this is the regular organic raspberry apple splash. This is the regular juice boxes that we normally get and the kids love them. Maya loves their fruit strips and this is one of the best places like price wise to get them but they never have this one this was on their end cap as like their promo and it's blueberry and acai so we grabbed those because usually it's either strawberry or raspberry so that'll be different for them uh, I got two bottles of wine. My Fifty Shades of Grey party is next Saturday night. 
we're all going to the movies to see the last finale movie and then coming back I'm having a party catered here but I have family that's actually driving down from Long Island to attend the party um, and she is a Pinot Grigio drinker so I got her this and I even got her this super cute like little wine holder in that Target haul I was just mentioning where I got the meat so if you guys check that haul out you'll see the little wine bag too that I got to hold her bottle of wine as a gift and then this is mine and I got the Moscato for myself a bag of little mini cucumbers a bag of green onions just another bag of Mexican style shredded cheese to last me until I can get to BJ's because a lot of taco and nacho kind of things coming up on the menu, especially with Super Bowl. Got uh, another bag of regular premium gold potatoes. This will be more for like mashed potatoes and things like that. Got our apple sauces. We get these every time. The kids love these. They're $1.89 regularly. Sometimes you can get them on a deal, but they were regular price this time. But I love all their multiple flavors. So this is the apple multi-fruit, then apple and banana, and apple cinnamon. There's four pouches in each one, but the kids generally have one of these every day. So, and you know what? It keeps them stomachs healthy and all of that. So I'm never against them having that apple sauce stuff and then the only non-food thing I got was this this really jumped out at me but this was originally five dollars and then it was half off so this was two and change I think that is crazy for a four piece scissor set and my scissors dull very quickly especially since I use them to cut herbs and meat so I thought this would be great I'll probably just replace all the scissors that I have throw the old ones away and use that so that is it for this haul and now let's get into this week's meal plan Okay guys, so here is our meal plan from today, Monday, February the 5th through the 11th. Uh, so here's my receipt from all these and I'm just gonna pan over really slow in case anybody wants to pause so you can see what I paid for everything. But I mean, I just couldn't ask for better quality for what I'm actually paying. I mean, come on guys, $1.89 for organic raspberries. It's just insane what I pay for some of this stuff and I'm just so ridiculously impressed, One fourteen sixty three. So let's get into the meal plan now. Um, so tonight we're just doing leftovers, but I am cooking a little bit more than I intended to just because I didn't cook everything yesterday. So this, we're having the sesame jack chicken strips today because I forgot panko. So Paul's gonna grab me some panko on the way home so I can make those. And then we did not do the pigs in a blanket. So we're gonna do whatever leftovers that we have. Plus I'll probably put in another pizza or two, the pigs in the blanket and the jack strips. So that'll be more than enough for dinner tonight. And then um, on tomorrow we're doing three meat cowboy bean and I'm so excited about this. I found this recipe on Pinterest so I'll pin it below but I'm going to do like my own little take on it. So Friday when I made my meat sauce I did ground beef and ground sausage and I did it both together at the bottom of the pan and then I took out half and I froze it. So I'm going to defrost the ground sausage with the ground beef and then those like and dewy sausages and I'm gonna cut them in little silver dollars and dump them in beans with peppers and onions and like cook it all on the stove with like syrup and brown sugar and stuff. I am so excited about this, you have no idea. So we're doing the three meat cowboy beans and then just some mac and cheese on the side. And then we're gonna do the RB sandwiches on Wednesdays and I am gonna film that. Every time I post this in anything, somebody says they want to see me make these. Now I kind of showed how to do it in a what's for dinner video, but I didn't actually like cook it. I just broke it down a little bit and showed you guys how I assembled it, but I'll put it all together. And I will try my hands at my own RB sauce. I pinned that on Pinterest too, so we'll try that. I will get myself packets though, because I've already mentioned that that is the key to making it taste just like Arby's. So I will swing through Arby's and get packets just to kind of go with this video. But if 
I will try my hands at making my own and we'll see how that goes. Um, Jen and Ashlyn arrive on Thursday afternoon for the 50 party. So we're gonna go really simple. They're super picky. So I'm just gonna do tacos and nachos and Spanish rice. The good thing is they like like the refried beans and the black beans and stuff. So I'll be able to have a little fun like because I don't get to make those things because the guys don't like them, they do. But I'm very safe with doing this kind of Mexican night because they like that. Um, and then on Friday night, I am going to do a big breakfast like on Friday that I'm going to film. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I got that food hack book at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to do a breakfast on Friday out of that book, a food hack, and I'll film it and I'll post that on Friday as my first food hack Friday. So I'm excited about that. And then for dinner, we're going to do chicken parm with spaghetti. Um, with garlic bread and salad. I do have a cooking video for that, so this will be in the description box. And then we are gonna do macaroni and ragout, which I did share this recipe in a vlog too, so I'll put that in the description box below as well. But Jen doesn't really like like the regular like meat sauce and spaghetti. So I'll make that for everybody else, and then Jen and I will have some macaroni and ragout because nobody will eat that. And then um, Saturday is the 50 party. So in the afternoon, we're going to see the movie and then we're coming home. But this says see gatherings page here. I'm having it catered. You guys are not going to see the gatherings page right now. I'm doing a whole video on all of the favors and all the things that I've purchased and the food that we're having and what I got from Publix and all of that. So um, I will share with you guys that gatherings page in that video. And then um, on Sunday, we're doing cracked out chicken tater tot casserole. So this is a new recipe as well. And I got this from Pinterest. Um, so that will be pinned in the description box as well. So that is it. I'm super excited. So many fun things this week coming up. Um, if you're interested, the review for this book is always in the description box as well as the discount code for 10% off if you want to purchase your own. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. I do post a grocery haul every Monday and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.